Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is living many people's wildest fantasies as a Dubai crowned prince with billions of dollars to play with. Stick around to find out what he chooses to do with it. Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, affectionately known as Faza, has a net worth of six billion dollars. Almost all of that money has come to him as inheritance from his royal family. His father is His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of the UAE, whose net worth is estimated to be roughly 14 billion US dollars. Prince Faza does not live at Zabil Palace with his father, but rather in his own private palace in Nad al Sheba, a very nice new upscale area of Dubai, not far from the Zabil Palace and close to the Maidan racetrack where he's known to frequently attend. It's unusual for such a public and social media savvy prince to not publicize his home, but we guess the privacy and security of his family comes above all. It's been said that you can spot the land the palace sits on from a major freeway that runs by it, as it sits on several hundred acres and there are a huge number of trees providing extra privacy a somewhat uncommon sight in Dubai. However, you can only see the tip of the tallest part of the beige stucco house, most likely a traditional Arabian wind tower. The home was given to Prince Faza around the time he was named Crown Prince, and is where many of his wild animals live, including his pet lions. The palace has a very long driveway with a huge gate, a security booth, and it was very well landscaped with lots of flowers, grass and trees. If you stay on the road, you drive by some dormitory-like housing for some of the Zabil Palace employees before you get to the NES Sports Club. Faza's car collection is out of this world, as you might expect, but even while showing off his incredible rides, he still manages to boost his environmental credentials. He earned praise recently for refusing to use his Mercedes after spotting a bird's nest on it. According to Esquire magazine, he decided to cordon off his Mercedes AMG G63 SUV worth 200,000 US dollars until after the birds had finished nesting. He posted an Instagram story which showed his Mercedes cordoned off with red and white tape inside his Dubai residence. He reportedly also told his staff to stay away from the area so as not to disturb the bird. The video, filmed from a distance, showed the bird sitting on her nest on the SUV's windshield. Faza took to Instagram again, sharing a video showing the chicks that hatch from the eggs. Sometimes, the little things in life are more than enough, which shows the mama bird taking care of her babies on top of the luxury vehicle. Faza is also the owner of the yacht Quatriol. The award-winning 88-meter motor yacht Quatriol was built by Lursen in Germany at their Rendsburg shipyard. Her interior is styled by Italian design house Nuvolari Lenard, and she was delivered to her owner in December 2012. This luxury vessel's exterior design is the work of Nuvolari Lenard founders Dan Lenard and Carlo Nuvolari. Her features include a movie theater, beauty salon, underwater lights, satellite communications, beach club, gym, deck, jacuzzi, Wi-Fi, and air conditioning. Faz also owns the 77-meter yacht Smeralda and Quatriol's support ship Quatriol Shadow, which was built as Lady Lola Shadow for Dwayne Hagadon. Smeralda is a multi-award winning 77.1 meter motor yacht built by Silver Yachts in Australia at their Henderson shipyard. Her interior is styled by design house Vane Interiors and she was delivered to her owner in June 2012. This luxury vessel's exterior design is the work of Espen Oeno. Smeralda has been designed to comfortably accommodate up to 20 guests in 10 suites comprising three VIP cabins. She's also capable of carrying up to 10 crew on board to ensure a relaxed luxury yacht experience. Her features include a dance floor, sauna, beauty salon, beach club, gym, and air conditioning. And we hope a room where Faza can safely keep his pet lion. Faza is used to jetting off around the world on one of his private Boeing 747-400s, operated by the Dubai Royal Air Wing. The interior of his planes are decked out in a regal style, with royal blue leather reclining sofas, deep armrests, and lots and lots of cushions. Hey, cushions are nice. The current cost of a single Boeing 747-400 is around 228 million to 260 million US dollars. Now whilst most of us, if we were worth billions, would probably prefer to stay inside the plane, Faza likes to be different and and has been also seen using jet-powered wings to soar through the skies above Dubai to celebrate their national day, which looks insanely fun, but we think we'll just stick with the barbecue in the garden. The Prince has nearly 15 million followers on Instagram and 4.5 million on Twitter, and he just loves to share his billionaire lifestyle with his followers. The Dubai Crown Prince 
says that he has learned to be an effective leader by using his hobbies. Hobbies that include everything from skydiving to poetry. Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed recently posted a video of himself to his Instagram soaring through the Dubai sky. The comments went berserk as the Dubai royal shared the video of himself jumping out of a C-130 Hercules. The Crown Prince definitely has a sweet spot for adventure sports, as followers of his socials are all too aware. He wasn't taking a luxury helicopter trip to survey his kingdom. He chooses to view things at a much faster pace. He was not alone this time, as he had been in the past. The video had over 250,000 views within its first day, and currently stands at around 1.8 million views. If skydiving is a bit too tame for you, How's about ziplining in between Dubai skyscrapers, starting from 45 floors up? In his post, he has a little nervous laugh, which we have to say is a lot more dignified than we'd be at 45 stories off the ground. The zipline is a long way from a regal evening stroll around the Dubai marina. But what else would you expect from a man who cave dives for fun? Faz posted a picture of the view from the top of the zipline to his Instagram story. We're getting vertigo just looking at it, beach to his own. Maybe jumping off a skyscraper sounds like a good time to you. The zipline ride is an entire kilometer long and starts from a height of 170 meters, which if you remember the high diving board from school is 17 of those tall. It finishes in the heart of Dubai Marina, so at least if you need to lie down afterwards, you're already near a very plush hotel. We assume royal privileges extend to letting you cool off in the lobby. There are two lines that run parallel, so the prince can share the experience with an equally daring friend if he so chooses. If you're feeling exhausted already, the shake is only just getting started. Another adrenaline fueled passion of his is showcasing a brand new Guinness World Record in Dubai, the world's deepest dive pool, which features a sunken city. Faza took his 12 million followers on Instagram on a tour of the latest attraction, posting a video to the platform. Faza is a qualified scuba diver, which sits nicely among his other adventure activities, and also fits in with his glamorous globetrotting lifestyle. We guess if you live in the desert, you must occasionally long for a break from the relentless heat. Faza enjoys taking adrenaline fueled trips to the snowy mountains of the world whenever he's able. He shared stunning footage of his recent ski trip to British Columbia, Canada, where temperatures were well below freezing, which must be like being inside a freezer for someone who lives in a desert for most of the year. As per usual, the father of twins shared images and videos to his millions of followers on Instagram. In the footage, Sheikh Hamdan was seen in winter gear, traveling in a helicopter to reach some of the province's most remote areas that offer picturesque views of snow-covered mountains. Heli-skiing, as it's known, is seen as the last frontier for adventure skiers. Those with deep pockets who want to avoid the crowded slopes and glide across untouched snow. You're looking at $10,000 plus per day for a single trip. But if you want to look like you're shooting point break, we guess that's the price you have to pay. His incredible trip also included biking along a scenic mountain lake, which apparently inspired him to build Dubai's 50 kilometer mountaineering biking trail when he got home. Now that's our kind of holiday shopping. Yeah, forget a fridge magnet. I'll bring home this 50 kilometer biking trail and maybe that mountain too. Skiing in Canada isn't his only trip lately either. In fact, he's been taking full advantage of the lifting of COVID restrictions and has pretty much been on a non-stop world tour. A recent Instagram post starts with a snap of the father of two in Scotland. Extreme Sports Fazza, as we'll now be calling him, was seen in a video piloting a helicopter across the Scottish Highlands. We're not sure if he was hoping to find the Loch Ness Monster and bring it back to Dubai with him too. They certainly seem to be spending a lot of time hovering over the country's famous locks. Faza seems to flip from adrenaline fueled extremes to quiet and thoughtful. After piloting the low flying helicopter, he moved directly on to spend time puffin spotting on the remote Isle of May off the country's east coast. It must be tricky being in his entourage, being unsure whether to pack your poetry book or crash helmet for the day's outing. A picture of the young royal in the Maldives showing him casually dressed and sitting in front of an overwater villa sent the internet bananas as speculation grew that he was there on his honeymoon, surrounded by the Indian Ocean. Suites at the plus Cheval Blanc Randali in the Maldives will set you back 17,000 US dollars per night. And it was spoken of as a suitable retreat. There was no comment from Faza though, as we already mentioned, he likes to keep his family's private life private. Well, as private as it can be when you have tens of millions of followers on social media. 
It's also worth pointing out at this stage that Arman Faza is likely traveling between all of these places on his own private plane or helicopter. He apparently takes a flight to London about once a year to promote Emirates Airlines. Apart from that, it's PJs all the way. In Mongolia, he can be seen dressed in a powder blue kandura. He pours tea al fresco with the country's rolling plateau as a backdrop. Faza was there to observe falcons and other birds of prey, whilst laying on the most insane looking picnic you've ever seen. On a visit to Switzerland, Sheikh Hamdan stands in front of a thermal hot spring as he treats us mere mortals to a glimpse into what a day in the life of a crown prince looks like. You'll be happy to hear that it starts in a pretty standard fashion. A cup of coffee. Hey, he's just like us. The video then pulls back to reveal him standing on a balcony overlooking a beautiful Swiss ski resort in a very fancy looking tailored suit. Ah, oh, okay, maybe we're not so alike. He's then seen hopping in and out of private helicopters and snow planes, being glad-handed by important looking local businessmen. It's difficult to tell, but we think this was a work day for him. Now Switzerland is the kind of place you would expect to see the super rich and royalty. It's where they hang out. But Faza also turns up in some seemingly totally random places, like the rolling English countryside, cycling past a horse in a Yorkshire field. He was seen ordering a protein shake from Fuel, a smoothie bar in the UK. His drink even had Faza written on it, like in Starbucks. We wonder if the server realized they were serving a member of the royal family worth billions, and that their handiwork was going to be shared with the whole world via his social media. Somehow, we think not. A private jet from Switzerland to a smoothie bar in the north of England will set you back over 10,000 US dollars, but that does look like a tasty beverage. France, Azerbaijan and Iceland are also favorite travel spots that the Sheikh has recently visited to chase adventure and even take a moment to build some impressive looking standing stone sculptures. Cannes in the French Riviera is known as the playground of the rich and famous, but it's no surprise when Armand Faza rocks up on the beach in his swimwear. We're guessing it's not puffins he's spotting down there on the sand. The Crown Prince's yacht is regularly seen off the coast of the south of France. A yacht pass to park your boat in Cannes during the famous annual film festival is a cool 22,715 US dollars. The insane scenery of Iceland can be seen in Sheikh Hamdan's picture from the land of ice and fire as he takes in the country's rugged charm from a vantage point above the waves. He's such an adrenaline junkie that we're surprised he wasn't there to recreate the famous car chase across the ice from Die Another Day. And a snap of the Dubai Royal taking a selfie in front of a waterfall in the Faroe Islands apparently sent influencers rushing to recreate the same shot on the North Atlantic archipelago. We guess that's the problem with having millions of followers and liking under the radar places. If you share them, they won't be under the radar for very long. The final image of just this one series they give you a snippet of his incredible lifestyle, shows him in Chicago, posing for a picture with his uncle, Sheikh Saeed bin Maktoum bin Juma, better known as Uncle Saeed. It's been rumored that this whole trip was in celebration of Uncle Saeed's 69th birthday. On a glass ledge high above the streets, the picture was taken at Skydeck Chicago, an observation deck on the 103rd floor of Willis Tower, formerly Sears Tower, and the Windy City's tallest skyscraper. Personally, at the age of 69, we're likely to be taking it easy, not on top of a huge skyscraper with our daredevil nephew. Our guy just can't seem to keep both feet on the ground for very long. The gallery post was liked by more than half a million people over its first weekend. Need we remind you, this is all from just one single Insta post. We think this guy is posting these pictures to try and get a job for National Geographic or something. Now this world traveling and adrenaline stuff is great and all, but one thing we can't fail to mention is his poetry. The Crown Prince, like his father, is a keen poet. His poetry is also the source of his nickname, Faza, which is an ode to a legendary Arab knight. His Highness has penned many poems throughout the years. Faza means the one who helps in Arabic. Picking up poetry from his father has been one of the hidden talents he possesses, as he has also published many works. Faza's poems are an honest, frank look into his life, with topics ranging from family, nature, patriotism, and of course, love. It must be a nice contrast from jumping off buildings too. Horse racing is known as the sport of kings, so it's fitting that our man Prince Faza is completely obsessed with it. 
often participating in horse racing events, and his horses have even won multiple trophies all over the world. He's a regular fixture at the UK's Royal Ascot race meeting alongside the British Royal Family, and is known to practically live at the Maidan Racecourse in Dubai, near where he lives. Now there's a reason that horse racing is known as a sport for royalty, and to get seriously involved, you have to have serious cash on hand. Luckily for Fazer, one racehorse belonging to him, named Gaiaf, is a dazzling thoroughbred, and was crowned the 2020 European Horse of the Year after winning the Judmonte International Stakes, Eclipse Stakes, Coronation Cup, and da 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 the Dubai Millennium Stakes. To date, this single horse has earned Faz over 1.5 million US dollars in winnings alone. Another way that the prince can monetize his champion stallion is through stud fees. A champion stallion like Gaieth can earn a stud fee for each female horse that it breeds with successfully. The fees vary hugely, but the very best stallions with a winning history on the racetrack can earn more than 100,000 US dollars each time it mates. A select few can earn much more and bring home millions. Now what is having all this money if you can't share it with your friends, eh? Vaza travels with your standard royal entourage. On top of that, he's good friends with some of the most famous people in the world, including UFC legend Khabib, Jackie Chan, tennis ace Novak Djokovic, and even works out on the regular with soccer legend Cristiano Ronaldo, who was even taken to referring to Dubai as his second home. Annually, Faza welcomes Ronaldo and his family to the UAE, ensuring they receive the royal treatment during their stay. Ronaldo and Faza have become exceedingly close over the past few years, which we've all got to witness through their series of shared posts on social media. This is a seriously powerful duo, especially when it comes to social media. They can always be relied upon to post a great selfie together during their catch-ups to their over half a billion combined followers. The UAE has just announced Energy Strategy 2050, which aims to increase their use of clean energy and reduce carbon footprint of power generation by 70%, thus saving 190 billion US dollars in the process. We can't wait to see what Faza does with all the extra cash.